Welcome to another one-on-one -on -one conversation here at OK Preps Media Days. I'm Michael Knight sitting down now with Lincoln Christian senior Colby Cassis. Colby, uh, we got to start with last season because it was one to remember for Lincoln Christian. Uh, 13, or excuse me, 14 and 0, undefeated, perfect state championship season. Um, you know, at, at what point last year, throughout the season, did you guys know that you had the potential to be, you know, a, a state championship caliber team? Um, I'd say right from the beginning. We were all just we, – we clicked together and so, uh, summer proud of our workout plan. It went smoothly. We all bonded together and we just – we liked to work. So that's that's how it went. How much did you use 2018 as motivation going into last year? Because obviously, you know, Heritage Hall got after you a bit in that, that season. Um, and, and, you know, talking to a couple guys before 2019, they were ready. You know, they were ready for an opportunity to get back at them. How much did you use 2018 as motivation going into last year? Uh, we just – we didn't like how we got our uh, butts kicked by Heritage Hall. So, we definitely used that as motivation. Our coach showed us a video of us getting our tails whipped. So, we used that as motivation. and We just did our part and did our job after that. You got revenge in the semifinals. You saw them again, and it was one of those games that, you know, going in, I think we called it the de facto championship. We thought it was the two best teams. Um, you know, you guys got out to that start and put them away early. And, you know, Heritage Hall is used to doing that to other teams. They're not used to that happening to them. What was that feeling like where you guys just came out and flat out dominated them from the start? Um, we got up fast, and... We just felt like we were on cloud nine. We're like, we we have all this energy and this momentum. Let's keep using it. And we came out in the next half and we just put them away. But in all respect to Heritage Hall, they're a really good football team too. Yeah, and, and look, by the way, they're gonna be they're gonna be uh, ready to go in 2020. Uh, basically, what you guys went through last year, that's what they're hoping for this year. Um, you know, you're able to back that up in the championship because that was one of the big questions I had was. You know, they, they got over the Heritage Hall hump. Will they have a letdown? You guys not only didn't have a letdown, uh, you had a great game in the championship. You personally also had a great game as well. Uh, what was that feeling like to, to finally accomplish that goal that you had been working all fall for, which was that gold ball? Uh, it felt great. Uh, we put so much work into it. So uh, it really feels good to win, knowing that your work paid off and that we've been working since day one, since – uh, kindergarten and it just felt great to win a gold ball. Now going into this off season, you know the the target is bigger than it's ever been before on Lincoln. And for you, you know one of the the, the guys that are returning, there are going to be a lot of new faces. Um, leadership wise, you know how have you tried to take more of a leadership role going into this year with some of those young guys that are going to have to step up this fall? Um, mainly just getting the team ready, getting the people that haven't had too many varsity reps, give them a chance and uh, really train them and put them under my wing and lead, lead them in the right direction and just see how they are acting towards it. Now, obviously, a, a big question mark with Lincoln is who the quarterback's going to be with, with Chase graduating. Uh, fantastic career and glad he was able to go out on top with a, a state title. Um, but how is the, the chemistry growing between some of the – I mean, is the quarterback already decided? Do you know who it's going to be? Or is it going to be uh, something that we won't know until August and September? That's something you won't know till August or September. We have two great quarterbacks that are fully capable of playing the position. And they're both fighting for their spot. And we'll just see who comes out on top. What's the chemistry like for, for you as a guy coming back and obviously, you know, playing with a different guy? I mean, how do you build chemistry with both guys? Because, look, you don't know who it's going to be. Yeah. How do you build that chemistry with either one, knowing that either one of them could be, you know, QB1 starting in, in week zero, week one? I mean, just talking to them both, getting to know them. Uh, this is, I've been with them for a while. We've been throwing routes to each other. and. They're both great people, and I, I would both uh, call them my best friends, too. They're, they're really good to be around with, so I'd say our chemistry's good. 
Now, uh, this offseason was a little different. I mean, obviously, with, with everything going on, um, workouts had to be completely different than ever before. How did Lincoln Christian handle this as far as a team? And for you individually as well, how did you handle uh, the pandemic and not being able to work out as a team, not having spring ball, not having team camps or seven on seven or anything like that? How did you guys handle that the last couple months? Uh, we had a little group chat and uh, our coaches provided a workout plan. Uh, we would get to each other's houses, lift, uh, route, uh, do route running, throw. We would do uh, all the things we would do. We would do as we're doing in spring ball or in uh, summer ball. We just, but without the pads, it was uh, very interesting. Though we got after it. Now going into 2020, last question. And it's always the biggest when you're coming off of a state championship. Last year at this time, you're chasing it. You're, you're chasing an opportunity to win a gold ball. Now, fast forward to today, you're defending it, and it's completely different. How, what is the mindset like for this team going into 2020, knowing that you're defending a title, but at the same time, you're also going after another one? Um, yeah, yeah, we just won one, but we got to have short-term memory and forget about that this year. And we got to stay hungry. And we just got to work as a team together, and we'll, we'll see where we go from there. Well, Colby, like I said, great season for Lincoln Christian and great season for you as well last year. Looking forward to seeing uh, not only what you can do this year, but what this uh, Lincoln Christian team will look like. Obviously, it's going to look a little different than it has the last couple of years. Uh, but the one thing uh, remains the same is Lincoln Christian certainly is about winning football. So I have no doubts that uh, it's going to be a reloading situation and not a rebuild in 2020. Good luck uh, not only to you, but to your teammates as well this fall, man. Thank you. He's Colby Katzis. I'm Michael Knight, and this has been another one-on-one -on -one conversation here at OK Preps Media Days.